Okay, today I want to run quickly through how to set up our notebook for the year. So, uh, first of all, first thing we need to do is label our notebook. At the top, I'd like you to write your class. I just, as an example, I use pre-algebra. If you're in Algebra 1, you write Algebra 1 there. Whatever hour you have math class, that's the hour you put. And then don't put my name, put your name. Okay, you can pause this video at any time uh, so you can keep up. Next thing we need to do is we need to number every single one of the pages in our notebook. And there's a way to do that. So we're gonna start on the, once you open up your spiral, the very first page you see, up in the top right hand corner, I want you to put the number one. Go ahead and turn the page and you should have two pages now. On the left page, Put the number number two up in the top left hand corner on the right hand page put the number three up in the top of the right hand corner and just keep going on so on until you get all the way to the end of your spiral uh, if you have a 70 page spiral uh, go all the way to 70 if you have a, a larger spiral just go the first 70 pages okay like I said I want to pause this now and get the numbering done. Okay, now that we're done numbering our pages, the next thing we're going to do is set up our table of contents. We're going to make four columns on our page. We're going to make a column for the date. We're going to make a column for the name of the assignments. We're going to make a column for the page number and that's the page number in your spiral that you did this assignment and then there's a plate of, we're gonna make a fourth column and that's for your grade so once your assignments graded you can go ahead and write your score in there we're gonna set up pages one two and three just like this okay so I'll give you some more time to do that all right now that we've got our table of contents set up, well, our first entry should be the table of contents. So we put today's date, which is 9-8. We put table of content of the name of the assignment. We did it on pages one, two, and three, so all you have to do is put one through three here. There's no grade, so we can leave that blank. The next thing we're gonna put in our spiral our rules and procedures. So, same date, because we're doing it today, so 9-8. Mine is, it took me two pages, so I put four through five. You might want to wait until you're done copying it to put the page numbers. You might be able to fit it all on one page. So, the rules and procedures. This is the first thing we'll write down. And I'll freeze this, uh, so or you can freeze it, so uh, you can get it copied down. But here are our rules. We're going to be prepared to learn every day. We're going to be respectful and we're going to complete all assignments on time. Okay, you can go ahead and pause that and get that copied down. Next thing are going to be our procedures. Um, our procedures they are do math and pencil. Math is always in pencil, not pen. Show me all your work. That's what your spiral is for, to show all the work. Even if you're answering it in Canvas or Cami, you're going to show your work in your notebook. Skip a line between problems. It's hard, it's hard to uh, look through a, a problem if your whole page is just looks like one large problem. Uh, try to keep it only two columns on each page. That's kind of personal preference as long as it's neat. And then word problems have word answers. Okay? They have a capital letter, they have punctuation, and they need to be at least, that's greater than or equal to, six words. As far as grading, we're going to grade all assignments in red pen. So if we're grading something in your spiral, it should be in red pen. You're going to date all pages, even though it's in your spiral, go ahead and put the date that you did it. Record all assignments in the table of contents. Now, you need to back this up so you can see the first of it that's fine but you can pause it give yourself time to get that copied down 
Next thing we need to put in our table of contents is the Ten Commandments of Math. We're still doing this today, so 9-8. Like I said, it took me two pages to get the rules and procedures, so I'm going to be starting this on page 6. Okay? The Ten Commandments, I'm going to go through these, and then you can back up and get them copied down. There's also a link in Canvas, so you can get a copy of this and copy it off from that. Thou shall not divide by zero. Okay? That's an undefined answer. It doesn't work. Number two, thou shalt not put other textbooks before thee in math class. Focus on math while you're in math class. Thou shalt not show thy, oh, excuse me, thou shalt show thy work, check thy work, and confirm that thy results are reasonable. Okay? Go back and check your work. Uh, if you come up with a, a wild answer, uh, that you know is not right, go back and find the problem, okay? Remember thy test days and prepare for them wholly, okay? Test days will be, you'll know a test is coming up at least two or three days ahead of time, unless it's a little pop quiz. Uh, study for them. If you need help studying for math, let me know and I'll try to help you come up with some methods to help you study. Number five. Thou shalt, shalt honor the correct order of operations. You're not going to get the right answer if you don't follow the triple O. Number six, thou shalt not do thy math work in ink. We covered that in Rules and Procedures. Number seven, thou shalt commit the facts of arithmetic to, arithmetic to memory. Guys, if we haven't learned our math facts, mm, it sure makes life easier if we know those. I know we depend on a calculator, but Sometimes if we just know the facts, it's quicker than doing it with a calculator. Okay, and number eight, thou shalt do into one side of an equation what thou do to the other side. Got to keep it balanced, guys. Equations are teeter-totters. Number nine, thou shalt, shalt not bear false witness against thy original problems. Thou shalt copy thy problems accurately and legibly. Guys, I, I know it's happened to all of us. We copy a problem down out of a book or off a worksheet. We work it, we're sure we worked it correct, and we did work that problem correct, but we copied it wrong. So we're gonna miss it because we didn't pay attention when we first copied the problem. Pay attention, double check, make sure you copied it correctly. Number 10, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's paper, not anything that is in thy, that is thy neighbor's. Guys, don't take anything that doesn't belong to you. Keep your hands to yourself. Your neighbor's property is their property. Okay, if there's any questions, please come see me.